All right, welcome back to the channel. Here we are at Snow Mountain, round three, leaderboard. Snow Mountain is round three. You have DC Fire, they shot 10 under and 8 under, they're 18 under for, through the first two days. Today's is individual four-man team. So the best score from that four-man team is what you shoot that hole. So we're team number two, me and Tim, with two other Syracuse guys. Uh, minus six and minus eight, 14 under, we're four strokes back. And there you see 13 under, the other Syracuse, 13 under, 10 under, and nine under. So there's where we are heading into individual play. And uh, this front nine here is a treat for you. What Tim, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil a little bit of it for you here with this panoramic look here. But Tim, uh, Tim does some special things uh, on this front nine. Anyway, take care. All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Captain Steve Pope here, Kansas City, Kansas Fire Department, Firefighter Golf, and the First Responder Golf Foundation. Out here in the U.S. and Canadian Professional Firefighters Tournament, day three. This is the individual team play, so best ball for the four players. And uh, this will be part one, holes eight through 16. And just out here networking with this tournament, try to help them grow as well as the channel. And then hopefully we can partner, keep doing these things to help, help each other out. But anyway, I think we're in second place. At 14 under, we're four strokes behind a team from Washington DC Fire Department. And uh, I'm playing with the Syracuse Firefighters. Syracuse Firefighters, Tim is the host. I'm playing with him. So let's see how we can do today. And uh, all he's worried about is beating the Syracuse teams. So uh, let's see what we can do otherwise. Anyway, stay self-aware. Love you all here at the snow course at Paiute. Beautiful, beautiful place. As you you saw in the pan, panoramic that I did there. All right, take care, love y'all. All right, hole eight. We've started on a par three, all three rounds. This is the way the course falls. Um, they started us on hole eight for some reason. Tim's the host and they should have started him on hole one is where he wanted it. 163 to this par three. We've started on a par three every- There I am round. talking about it. All right, I'm going to lead the way because Tim was talking to the guys about uh, some stuff with the tournament. Oh, and a skinny old miss there. And it goes right in that bunker. Bunker. Great. Ain't this fucking one. Well, it's driving range pro today. Here goes Jeff. Strong lefty. And he says here, he, he towed that a little bit. He ended up in the bunker with me. All right, here's Tim. Skinny one as well. All right, here's the speed over to the bunker. Jeff goes first here. Pretty good shot by him coming in. I'd take that from that distance and then the wind, good shot. Very nice. So Tim was over here to the right, which, which would be the left of the green, and here I hit it through. And it spun, it stopped just off screen there. But here's Tim's shot coming in from off the camera. There's the ball. So on the way drive down to that. You guys saw that roll in here. My partner with the birdie chip in. Yeah, so the birdie sip, he joked. Don't need to hit now. He <laughs> joked about taking a sip of his beer. Right there. <laughs> so we call it the birdie sip because he needed that you little sip. All right, brother, that's how we get started, guys. Yep. All right, what a way to start. All right, hole nine. Beautiful with Mount Charleston in the background, the clubhouse in the background, uh, around the water as you see there. 399 yards from the yellow tees. Oh, turtle. Turtle is the tee box markers. So yellow tees, so it'd be one up from the tips. Tim thought he got it into the water here, but he came up short of it. I think you're gonna be okay. That trap? Over it? I think it's around the trap. Okay. Wow, that was awful. 
So this wind, listen to me here. Wind's gonna be a factor today, folks. <laughs> yes, it's, it's 25 mile an hour plus. All right, nice little cut with the wind here. There's Eddie joining our group today. Matt was with us the first two days. You see him in that video. So I'll show some of Eddie's shots. So Eddie, I think the first round of the tournament hold out for an eagle on a par four. So that won him big skin money. So 102 yards here. We have music playing for copyright reasons. I have to mute it and play this music over it and then with my voiceover. But it's downwind. And here's where it ends up. I'll show here in a second. All right, so there you see it's about a, probably a five or six footer. There's Eddie's putt. Kind of gives me a read a little bit. And I'll unmute when that music's not loud and YouTube won't pick up that copyrighted music. Because I like to hear the, the sounds with the wind and, and just the, the ball being hit. Didn't hit that one. Do waste one of those, but guess what? Probably later in the round, I'll make a long putt for par that we need or a long birdie putt. So things even themselves out usually. All right, hole 10 around this water. This one was downwind. So I was afraid of hitting it too far to the right there, as you see on this tee, ball, uh, tee shot coming up. Hole 10, three, Look at two, one. Beautiful. You got the water in that bunker to contend with and a little cape hole. Man, just a beautiful setting out here, like 25 minutes north of the strip, north and west, like you're going to Reno. All right, Tim with a good shot here. I'd been hitting the cut the whole time the last couple rounds, I should say. So this is round two and and then this one, ah. yep. Right. Come I over the top with okay. a little bit. Right. Right. Oh. It's hit it on land first, though. It hit, it hit the, the grass and kicked left, and it looked like it might have trickled into the rocks. Yep, yeah, it, it, it hit, hit the land, down. then trickled left into the rocks, so. Our guys birdied There's Tim saying, our guys birdied this hole, so me to even hit and try for a par is worthless so all right for all my firefighter brothers at this tournament that are going to watch this because we posted it to the facebook page this channel and my mission is trying to bring awareness to mental health for us first responders it's a serious thing in kansas city kansas we've had two die by suicide over the last four years and i'm sure it's the same across the country and other departments so Anyway, trying to bring awareness to what this job can do to you mentally um, and how I use the game of golf to decompress and, and try to overcome it. But I've learned to be self-aware of the stresses that are coming on me. I know my jaw tightens up and, and uh, you know, there's a lot of other things I can go on and on about in this little spill, but it's mainly just about bringing awareness and how I use the game of golf and how the foundation that I started is able to pay for first responders to get out in the golf course so contact me if you'd like to cut if you'd like to play and we'll try to set something up where i can come get you and your brothers and sisters out on the golf course all right take care love y'all all right our guy's birdie 10 so i'm not filming my shots i hit in the water off the tee so just showing tim here just to get a putt and fill even though our guys birdied we're still playing for pace of play reasons and just Fire. stuff like that. But there he is. Fire. He's hot. Good job, Tim. <laughs> All right, Timmy's on fire early on. Let's see if I can get it going. All right, hole 11 here. If I remember right, I wasn't comfortable with this tee shot. Um, you'll see the way it looks from the tee box. It just visually just wasn't there for me. There's the yardage. But it was straight into the wind, so it was easily paying 600 yards or more. And as you see, it's a kind of desert K-pole, so it all goes left pretty good. 
as you saw with the flyover, but there's the visual. I just wasn't comfortable with this T-ball. All right, this hole's a beast. It's into the wind. It's about 569, so easily playing 600, 640. And the winds are supposed to be steady like this the whole day. Definitely gonna be a factor. So Tim's ball here ended up in the desert. So I didn't film a lot of his other shots. And here I am over top again a little bit there. Probably stopped my hips there, I don't know. Anyway, mine survived, it, it's in the rough. Eddie with a good drive here. That'll play nicely. All right, there's where mine ended up. So what you can't tell is the ball is below my feet. So to get down to this one, it was, it was kind of tough. And I skinnied it up there and it's in play. It's in the fairway. Just didn't hit it great. All right, not the greatest strikes, but it's in play. Probably gonna have 160 or, out or so. And All right, wind is in our face to the left, downhill at least to this pen and green. About 174. Man, look at that wind whipping that flag there in that last shot. So as you can see, the ball's above my feet. I thought this thing was gonna come left for me. And I, I, I swiped across it and it stayed straightish and a weak hit. That's what I love about this game, you know? You got stances and stuff, you just don't feel comfortable and you're trying to overcome it mentally. It's just a great game, man, I love right, it. Here's where my swipey six iron ended up. And that's the look I got coming in. Gotta get this close for a par attempt. Uh, tell me if you like the, the speed up stuff to the end of the shot. I like doing it because you can see the background and everything showcasing a golf course. Gives you time to look at things instead of just shot to shot to shot. That gets boring in my opinion. So just anyway, make comments what you think. Here's Tim's short game again. Man, Tim's short game is fucking gorgeous. <laughs> look at that, ran it up there. He's staying hot, folks. Tap in two footer. All right, Tim's staying hot. That was within gimme range. Good job, brother. You're hot, man. Two, de two desert balls. Yeah, Tim hit two balls in the desert, punched the other one out to where you just saw him chip from, and then chipped it close for the par. So, man, he's carrying the team as far as this the two of us and here's a 409 yard uh, par four downhill 334 you know as the crow flies so yeah it's 334 yards straight that way instead of kind playing of like around that. the desert blowing the camera sorry. it's the the length i mentioned so here's tim first I'd say if I was to rate the courses, my favorite is the Wolf, like then the Sun, and then the Snow. But they're all wonderful tracks, so. So I didn't go over the top on this one and pull, draw it. I was afraid this one was gonna be gonorrhea. That's a bad golf disease. But you'll see here. All right, so right now Tim's carrying us. We are two under as our twosome, all, all Tim. You know, he made a par putt when I missed that birdie putt, so you know he's he's playing good right now. But as a as a team, with the four, I think we're we're two because we birdied one of the same holes they did. So two under there. And my ball here, I'm looking on this hole. I survived. I I, I found the green grass. So all right, there it is. One twenty six. And it's downwind. So 126 to that pin placement I was saying there, um, and it's downwind. And I put the poop emoji on that swing because that was a shit swing, didn't fire anything, and it caused the pull. Today, partner, right now. And then 
Look at that skinny one across the green. So there's the poop emoji again. <laughs> Alright, here's my partner Timmy. Tim putt for his Guaranteed. birdie. He was in the bunker and got it to here. And here it comes. Look at this guy. Great pace. Great pace, downwind putt. Good job. Alright, thanks to Tim for carrying us. So hole 13. This is a short one here, so you can see there's fairway on the left side, but from the tee box you'll see, you really can't see that unless you've played there before. And I hadn't played there in so many years, I didn't feel comfortable with this tee shot, so I made sure I went out to the right, as you'll see here coming up. And it's uphill too, so a little bit further than but you'll see where my ball ended up right there. Right, my ball down there. I would have made the green. I would have sure carried it with this pin. to that fairway. But I might have got there if I got online. I'm waiting to film Timmy. Keep it hot, partner. Pretty good. All right, he's got a putt for birdie. Get it! <laughs> it's H O double T. That was straight and narrow. Pour it in, pour it in. It's good. What the fuck? My man Tim, remaining hot. I'm gonna put two T's on that one. Wow. So my birdie putt meant nothing. All right, hole 14. This one was in the wind that I'm recalling. Um, so yeah, some tough holes into the wind today, at this day, I should say. Timmy thought he was gonna cut that in there and it just stopped, stopped moving and the wind was going a little left too with the end to our face. So as you, you'll see here, I think I had the six iron there and then I went to the five. And I'm set up to try to cut this, and no. Nope. Lovely. All right, here's Tim's chip. My ball went in the desert behind me here, and there's no reason for me. I couldn't, well, I couldn't find it for one, so I was out of the hole. And uh, here's Tim's putt for par, because I think the guys in front of us bogeyed, our, our team in front of us. So clutch job, putt. Partner. <laughs> clutch putt. I know. Wonderful. Loving watching it. Yeah, just showing some footage of the tournament guys behind us. Playing that hole we just played. Alright, hole 15. The long uh longish par four from our tees that we were playing, so kind of uphill a little bit the whole way. Not much, but Timmy's saying we got to get some birdies there. I I thought I had his his recorded, but I didn't. He had a good one out in the fairway. Here's Eddie. The ball hit a good one. Very nice. Oh my gosh, I'm all over the world. I mean, army golf left and right. No help to Tim. All right, I got lucky. Must have hit off this hill. Yeah, yeah it must have hit off the hit desert slope, way. and there's where it ended up. I got to help Tim out here. 158 to this pin. There, I just said 158 to that pin. And you'll see where it's at here with the graphic coming up. Trying to take my time and get a little more feel. 
finally made a good swing on something. But you'll see here, there's what ended up. So a good spot. We're gonna watch Tim putt here first. Tim's ended up, there's where mine. Good shots here, we got two good birdie looks. I'm still gonna do a little voiceover because of the wind, but you can't see Tim's, uh, the hole on Tim's putt, but. So yeah, his went to the left at the end. And I'm, I watched that go by and I'm thinking, with the wind and everything that it wasn't going to go that way early on. So anyway, that's golf. There's the wind blowing. It, it took that ball right away. All right, hole 16. This is a wicked par three. And it's the last hole of this front nine video or this nine hole segment of this video. Beautiful golf hole here, 182 it's saying to the 182. Moment. And there you go, beautiful. There's Tim, he's three under coming into this hole. And splash. Wow, he had it going, man. Yeah, the wind didn't bring it enough. It's not in a bad spot. All right, our guys uh, parred this in front of us. Two groups in front of us, so I gotta try to chip mine in. It's just over the green to the right. All right, you heard me. All right, here's what I got. I gotta chip this in for birdie, because our guys already did. So I'm just gonna put it right here, and you guys can see it. All right, yeah, so our guys got par. There was a bunker right behind me, so I had to Put the pin there and there you see the ball uh yeah not a good chip all right our guys got the par in front of us so move on all right folks thanks for watching this nine hole segment of the u.s and canadian professional firefighters tournament we as a total four-man team were three under until he dunked it in the water on 16. he was three under on his own ball so he got up and down from the drop area for the bogey so <laughs> wow uh he's playing wonderful it's fun to watch it's fun playing with these guys and uh getting the you know new no new firefighters from across this country so same problems when we talk same problems we uh we have in kansas city kansas as far as firefighters go with administration with the city fighting for raises so anyway solidarity brothers all right love you all stay self-aware Part two coming soon here at Snow Mountain at Paiute Resort. All right, folks, part two will be coming soon. If the other team in front of us leading didn't get any birdies, we're one stroke behind going into this back nine. So let's see if I can get it going, see if Tim can keep it going, and see if our teammates in front of us can uh, get a couple birdies and, and see how we finish. So anyway, thanks for watching. Love you all.